Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome again. My name is Dr. Donna Patterson. I am a board certified nurse practitioner and owner of Rejuvenere Health and Aesthetics Med Spa. And so this morning, I wanted to talk to you about the latest and the greatest weight loss injection on the market. As a matter of fact, it is not formulated for weight loss, but it is shown to be so effective that it is being used off label for weight loss. And what is this medication called? You got it. It is Manjaro. You may have heard of Manjaro, also known as Terzapatide. Terzapatide or Manjaro was originally formulated by Eli Lilly, the pharmaceutical company, to treat type 2 diabetes as an adjunct medication for people with type 2 diabetes who were experiencing elevated A1C levels and was having trouble with obesity and not being able to lose weight. And so this medication has been shown for those that were taking it to be very, very, very effective in cause allowing these people to lose significant amount of weight. As a result of that, with the aggressive weight loss that people were experiencing, this medication is now being used off label, which means that it is not yet FDA approved for weight loss but it is being prescribed by physicians as an off-label use for weight management in those that are obese. Before I get further into that, I just wanted to talk about a few of the other medications that have been out for a few years now and have shown effectiveness in, in causing us to lose weight. However, not as great as Manjaro is. And the first medication I wanna talk about is Phentermine, or also known as Adipex. Phentermine is a tablet, it's an oral tablet that has been shown to have caused us to lose about 5% of our body weight when taken and used in addition to diet and exercise. When Phentermine was combined with Toparamet, which is migraine medication, also called Qsimia, that has been shown to cause about 8 to 10% of weight loss, which is also a good number. But here we go, let's dive a little deeper. Contrave, which was bupropion as well as naltrexone combined together allows about a 5% weight loss in people that were taking it. And so uh, anything that helps us lose weight more than we would naturally on our own with diet and exercise only is a good thing. But 5%, about 4 to 5% with Contrave, which is a medication bupropion as well as naltrexone combined. And after that, we had a Saxenda, which is a liraglutide medication and that causes about 8% weight loss, which is decent, right? Then came, Saxenda was the first injectable medication, and after that, we had the semi-glutide, also known as Ozempic, or the formula that was approved for weight loss, which is same semi-glutide, also known as Wigovi, allows anywhere from about 15% weight loss in those that were taking it, combined with diet and exercise only. So semi-glutide has proven to be very effective, if anything, more effective than all the other medications in the same class before it. And then came this big boss on the market. Name is Manjaro. Imagine, it sounds like a mountain. Sounds strong, right? Manjaro has shown, for those that were taking it, to their different dosages, it starts at 2.5 milligram all the way up to 15 milligrams. And in the numerous studies have been done with the 5 milligram dosages, the 10 milligram dosage, and the 15 milligram dosage. The 5 milligram dosage has shown about a 15% weight loss, which is comparable to semi-glutide, which is excellent. And it's still amazing. The 10 milligram dosage has uh, shown an effectiveness of about 19% weight loss. And when you go up to 15 milligram, that has shown an effectiveness of 20.9% body weight loss. Imagine 20.9%. That is unheard of. That is amazing. And so basically you can round it off to 21%. So Manjora now has been shown from anywhere from 15% to 21% of total body fat loss. You can lose up to 21% of fat. Say for example, you are 200 pounds, you can lose 42 pounds taking Manjora. Some people have had even more effectiveness and have lost four or 50, even 60 pounds on this medication, um, but it is shown to be anywhere an average of 15 to 21%. So being 200 pounds, at 15%, you could lose 30 pounds. Phenomenal. Without surgery, without liposuction, without gastric bypass, 
without getting your stomach cut and all of that. So we are super excited about this medication. Uh, like I said before, it was originally formulated to combat obesity and provide long lasting or long-term sustainable results when combined with healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, such as dietary changes and exercise. And no one's saying you have to go now and work out like a beast to lose weight, but just incorporating exercise into your diet. That way, after you're done with this medication, after you have reached your weight loss goal, you're able to continue with that lifestyle change so you can maintain your result for a longer period of time. So Manjura effectively, it is a GLP-1. As a matter of fact, Manjura works on two peptide receptors called GLP-1, which is called, is a glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor, as well as a GIP receptor, which is a glucose-dependent insulin otropic peptide. That's a tongue twister, GIP for short. So Manjora works on two different parts of the receptors, whereas semaglutide, which uh, shows up to 15% weight loss, only works on the GLP-1 receptor. And so be working on two different areas in the body, and these receptors are found all over the body, including the brain, the stomach, the gastrointestinal tract. But working on two different parts of these receptors, it is thought that this is what makes Manjora even more effective than the semaglutide. So let's dive into it. All the studies, like I said before, all the studies that have been performed have shown Manjora to be leading the track. This is the racehorse of weight loss medication. But as of the recording of this video, Manjora is not yet FDA approved for weight loss. It is a, a proof for diabetic patient, type two diabetes, People with type 1 diabetes are not should not take a Manjora. But for type 2 diabetes, it is approved, but it is being used off-label for type 2 for weight loss. So in addition to that, Manjora is taken as a once-weekly injection in the subcutaneous portion of your body that is right underneath your skin. So most people would give themselves a shot in the stomach, right around the navel or to the left or right of that, or even below that, or in the fatty part area of your arm, like under here, the back of your arm. It is not given in the muscle. It is given in the fat or the subcutaneous fat portion of your body. Like I mentioned before, the dosage range is from 2.5 milligram, which is where most people will start at 2.5 milligram on your initial dose when you're going for your consultation. Your provider will review your health history, uh, your medical history. They'll also review your lab work. So if you don't have lab work with you, they may ask you to have your lab work done and brought in uh, so that they can review this with you to determine if you qualify, if this would be a safe medication for you to take based on your health history and your lab work to make sure that everything is optimized so that you can get the best result. So they would start you off at 2.5 milligram and this will go up to 15 milligram dosage. So increments of 2.5. So you start at 2.5 milligram and you, you stay on that for four weeks. And after four weeks, based on your results so far, you will be increased to five milligram for an additional four weeks and so forth, another five, um, 2.5 milligram to 7.5 milligram, then 10 milligram all the way up to 15 milligram which is the highest dosage. If you're experiencing significant results at a lower dose, say five milligram is working great for you, you're losing a lot of weight, then you may stay at that dose for a longer period of time. Uh, if 7.5 milligram is working or it's not working, then they may increase you to a 10 milligram dosage. That way you can get better effect. Keep in mind, however, that for those that are on higher dosage of this medication, they will experience some gastrointestinal effects. So maybe when you just start out, you'll have some mild to moderate GI upset, like nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea. But the higher dosage that you go on, the higher your dosage, the more significant these could be. They said it's anywhere from mild to moderate. So up to 7% of people taking this medication have had to stop because they could not tolerate the effects. Others have pushed through the pain, they have pushed through the discomfort because they are getting significant results. So it all depends when, if you're experiencing any of these, it's always best to talk with your provider to see if they need to reduce your dosage 
and what works best for you and your health. So Manjores usually use long term, but once your weight loss goal is achieved, of course, you may stop taking this medication. Now, what do you do after you stop taking this? Are you going to regain all your weight back? Well, this is why there is no miracle drug out there that is going to allow you to permanently lose weight and keep it off without doing something to help. So even if you're exercising and you're doing body competition and you have all the muscles in the world, once you stop, your muscle mass deplete, it goes back. Your muscle, you start losing muscle mass and now you're not as buff and puff as you used to be. So even exercise alone is not effective if you're not doing it consistently. So with Manjora, it is recommended, not just Manjora, but all these medications, the weight loss medication, semi-glutide, it is recommended that you incorporate dietary lifestyle changes, dietary, and of course, exercise, healthy lifestyle changes that will allow you after you've done taking this medication to maintain your results. And that way you can keep the weight off for a longer period of time and not just for the summer, not just for the photo shoot and not just to get fit into that wedding dress because the goal is for us to have long-term health, not just temporary. So we always encourage and we're going to encourage you if you're not incorporating dietary restriction and exercise you may not have as best a result as you could have had with this medication. And if you just go back to eating the way you're used to, drinking a lot of alcohol maybe, sweet wine, whichever one it is, if you are uh, drinking lots of sodas or you are eating lots of sugary stuff, keep in mind that you will regain this weight. And your weight, even with a lot of carby food, you have to make health choices, healthy choices and your weight will rebound with a vengeance. So it is necessary that you are doing what you need to do to make sure that if you are serious about your health, you're serious about losing weight, you don't wanna have to deal with the, the side effects of obesity-related health problems, then you have to do what it takes to make sure that you are staying healthy. And what are these obesity-related health problems? Well, Manjora, the manufacturer suggests that for people, Manjora is best used for people who are at least BMI or body mass index of 30 or greater, not just those that are diabetic, but those who are obese. Body mass index of it's over 30, or if your body mass index is anywhere from 27 or greater, and you are experiencing at least one obesity health-related problem, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or sleep apnea, then you qualify for using this medication. Of course, your lab work will be reviewed to make sure, like I said before, you don't have any contraindications. For example, if you have thyroid problem like hypothyroidism, that can cause you to not have as great a result on this medication. Another thing that you should bring to the attention of your provider is if you are using a birth control pill, the manufacturer suggests that you use at least a backup method of birth control for the first 30 days. So that is four weeks after starting this medication because this medication has been shown to reduce the effect of your birth control pill and could cause unwanted pregnancy. So it is recommended that you speak to your healthcare provider and you use a backup method for the first four weeks. Common side effects, like I mentioned before, include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, and a feeling of fullness. And these increase the higher the dose that you're on. Some adverse effect of this medication, there is a black box warning for pancreatitis. If you have a history of pancreatitis, it is recommended that you speak to your healthcare provider about this because this could cause your pancreatitis to be worse or it could cause your pancreas to become inflamed and you have pancreatitis after that. Also, there's a black box warning for gallbladder disease. However, with all the studies that have been done, gallbladder disease or pancreatitis have not shown to be um, any more than those that had, were taking placebo. And usually, um, I forgot to mention this, but those that were on placebo to lose weight is basically diet and exercise only. And those people during these studies showed to lose about 3% of their body weight. And with the medication, they lose up to 21%, which is significant. And no other drug so far on the market 
has been shown to be as effective. As a matter of fact, it's being compared to bariatric surgery because for those that does bariatric surgery, you can lose anywhere from 25% to 30% of your body weight. A lot of people don't want to undergo surgery for one, and about 1% 1 of people who undergo bariatric surgery maintain their result long-term. A lot of people have gained their weight back because they're not incorporating those lifestyle changes to ensure that they get the best result and that they stay with the best results for the longest period of time. So remember, Never start a weight loss program without first speaking to your healthcare provider and never start an exercise routine without discussing this with your healthcare provider just to make sure that you have medical clearance before you do so. Your health is always our priority and ensuring that we practice safely and that you remain safe during the course of your treatment is our number one priority. So of course we want you to lose weight. We want you to get healthy. We want you to be confident in your skin and in the body you're in but we also want you to be safe long-term. So always talk to your healthcare provider. And here at Rejuvenere Health and Aesthetics, we're located in McDonough, Georgia. Uh, we provide a variety of weight loss medication to include semi-glutide as well as Manjara. And for, to find out more information about us, you can visit our website at www.rejuvenerehealth.com. You may also find us on Instagram. You can send us a DM or you can call us at 678-643-2253. It is my pleasure speaking with you. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are created for a purpose. And I want you to stay healthy. I want you to stay blessed. And I want you to go out just embracing your health and taking charge to make sure that you are the best version of yourself that you can be. I love you for free. You take care. And until next time, talk to you later.